Welcome to Chopstick Travel, I'm Luke Martin and today I'm in Bali, Indonesia. In this episode I'm in Ubud to show you two of Bali's most famous dishes, babek batutu, a smoked duck that takes 24 hours to cook, and babi guling, the world famous suckling pig, one of the must try dishes here in Bali. I'm also going to be taking you around showing you some of the sights of Ubud and of course sampling some more famous foods here in Bali. It's going to be a great episode so make sure you stay tuned until the end. Let's go eat some Balinese food. So this is Ibu Oka, one of the most famous restaurants in Bali for Babi Guling, which is suckling pig. So as you may or may not know, Indonesia is predominantly Muslim, so Bali is a Hindu island predominantly, and therefore you can only eat Babi Guling here in Bali. So it's one of the most famous dishes to try here. And here at Ibu Oka, they actually have three restaurants. This morning I've come to see how they're made making the Bobby Booling. So they've got four pigs on the roast right now and each pig is manned by one of the Bobby Booling masters. So they clearly know what they're doing. I've been watching them and seeing how they do it. It's really a very intricate process even though it looks quite simple. It's not as simple as just turning that pig. So they never stop turning it to get that even roast using wood fire the traditional way of course and they're really careful with the fire to not let it get too hot. Stoking it using a little shovel to move it around, adding flames, moving the logs around. Sometimes they'll use a little bit of water to cool it off if it gets too hot. They also use a little tool with a pin on the end of it to poke some of the bubbles out of the skin so the skin doesn't bubble up too much. You want it to get super crispy. And earlier this morning, they sewed these guys up full of spices. So these pigs are actually slaughtered in the morning, super fresh. As I said, they have three restaurants. They've got four pigs, I guess one on backup. And it's gonna take about two hours to finish cooking one of these Bobby Goulings. It's such an interesting process. This is like a factory back here. Woke up bright and early to see how they're doing it. And of course the women are also preparing all the side dishes, chopping up lots of uh, spicy looking chili peppers and mixing some of the blood using all the intestines. Nothing goes to waste and what a process. These pigs are absolutely massive too. So Ibu Oka is, like I said, one of the most famous restaurants for Bobby Guling in all of Bali. So these pigs are gonna get sold out today and then do the same thing again tomorrow. The pigs are at different stages. This one's getting nice and brown and crispy and that skin's the most important part. It's gonna be like a chip, super crunchy, and then keep that meat, uh, all the juices in there, keep it nice and succulent. And this guy is getting quite far along. I think we're gonna go get some breakfast and then come back uh, a little bit later once these pigs are finished roasting so we can taste them. As you can see, the decor here at Ibuoka is quite fitting, and that was definitely one of the gnarliest kitchens I've ever been in, or I should say small factory. So, as I mentioned, I'm gonna come back later and see the final Bobby Guling suckling pig, and in the meantime, I'm gonna go grab some breakfast. So for breakfast, I've come to this really cool kind of street food stall, hole in the wall type restaurant called Warang Bubur Bali. They're serving bubur, which is a popular Indonesian dish. It's kind of like a congee. So this is bubur Bali. So tons of different ingredients in there, but it's all served with that congee rice. So she started by making a mix of different vegetables with some sambals in there, topped it with lots of coconut and then a a uh, braised egg as well and some chicken curry and you can see it's just super saturated super soupy and i'm gonna go in grab a little piece of this egg everything if i can and try a big bite of that for breakfast today oh. the 
texture of the rice. Super, super creamy. Lots of sauces going on in there. I can taste the coconut. It's got some spice for sure. I can feel the chili heat. And then that egg has a really nice braised flavor. Just look at how soupy consistency it is with the fresh veggies on top. This is Gubar Bali, but you can get this all across Indonesia in different forms, sometimes with vegetables, sometimes with meat. And uh, this one is not vegetarian because there is a chicken curry and an egg on top, but mostly vegetables. There's no meat in there. Mm. So hearty, really flavorful. That was a great quick little breakfast here at Warong Bubar Bali, a really unique dish topped with so many different ingredients, super hearty and filling. I'm gonna head back to Ibuoka to check on the babi guling, see if it's finished and uh, can't wait to taste that. So I'm back at Ibuoka's kitchen where they're making the babi guling. Um, they're just about finished now. The skin is super crispy, browned up. You can see the oils just dripping out of those things and just about finished. And soon I'll be able to taste the famous Balinese babi guling. After they finish roasting it, they kind of clean off the little charred bits and this is the final product. Steaming hot Bobby Gulling. This thing is massive. The skin is cracking. When they just set it down on the tray, you saw all of that spice uh, kind of flowing out of it. It's steaming hot. How many kgs is this one? Uh, 70. 70? Yeah. 70 kgs, wow. And this will be sold in one day? Yeah. Yeah, sold, sold in one day. In the three places. In three different restaurants, yeah. Three different restaurants here at Ibuoka. Wow, cool. So the babi guling is finished being cooked. This is the perfect time to sample it while it's fresh and hot. And this is such a beautiful restaurant, Ibuoka. They've got these little parrots. I think they're parrots here. And uh, it's just such a beautiful setting. Ubud is full of restaurants with this peaceful atmosphere. I love it. So let's go try out the famous Balinese babi guling. their menu. I'm at Ibuoka number three and I just ordered their special. So this one right here. This is with the soup but I ordered without soup and it comes with rice, some side dishes. You can even order um, just the skin too which is tempting but uh, I'm just gonna try their most famous dish and this is such a peaceful restaurant as I said there's a view over a river here. Super excited to finally try the famous Bobby Guling that I woke up at 5 a.m. to try today. <laughs> So here is the final product, absolutely beautiful. And there's tons of different things in there. And just listen to this. That is so crispy. I am seriously looking forward to that. So there's also lawar, which is like a salad, an Indonesian salad. And then some of the intestines that have been deep fried, super crispy, crunchy. And then that's all the meat there. And it's been coated in that sauce, the same sauce, which is stuffed inside of the Bobby Guling. And then on the other side here, you can see some rice. But you know what? I gotta go in just with my fingers and try a piece of skin. But let me flip it around. Look at that. Look at all that fat and oil on the bottom there. And this is gonna be seriously crunchy. Hear this. Oh. absolutely dissolves into nothing in your mouth. The contrast between that layer of fat and that super crunchy skin 
you can taste the smoke from that wood fire. It's super, super smoky and a little bit salty. And you can taste all of those herbs and spices have infused into that fat, that bottom layer. And I can feel a little bit of the spice too. Wow, that is everything that I dreamed of. So crunchy, so delicious. I gotta go in now and try a piece of the meat here. So all of that uh, spice and then get a little bit of rice as well. Let's try this one. just bursting with flavors. That is phenomenal. Extremely juicy meat. It shouldn't be discounted, the meat on the inside. I know that the skin is definitely the highlight for most, but that meat on the inside, it retains all of that juice. So succulent, super, super juicy. I can't believe how juicy that is. And then that sauce is just packed with flavor. Let me try a little bit of the Loire, the salad with some of those deep fried intestines too. These are gonna be super crunchy too. Mm -hmm. Oh man, what a meal, yum. Mm. Check out what I just found hiding underneath, a little piece of blood sausage. Look at that color, deep, rich, red, almost purple color. Let me see if I can cut that in half. And I'll try a little piece of that with some of the meat too. Mmm. Mmm. I'm usually not a huge fan of the blood sausage, but that might be the best blood sausage version I've ever tasted. It's packed with flavors. There's so many spices in there. The Balinese love the spices, but it's not super spicy. It doesn't burn your mouth. There is a little hint of heat, but it's mainly just packed full of flavors. And I do have to give it up for the skin. It's just ridiculous. What a meal, yum. Bali's famous Bobby Goulding here at Ibuoka. Mm. They have some red hot looking sambal on the table. Look at that, it's just packed full of green chilies, red chilies, and I'll apply generously because it's not too spicy without it. And then gotta get this piece of meat right here covered in that Bobby Goulding spice blend, wow. Well, that kicks up the spice level about a hundred times. Wow, that's got my endorphins pumping, super spicy. Whoo, yeah, be careful of that stuff. That'll uh, knock you on your ass. <laughs> what a meal, that sambal is seriously spicy. My mouth is on fire and they've got like, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these parrots here. And some koi fish. It's a really beautiful restaurant. I think I was the first customer of the day. So really nice atmosphere. Delicious Bobby Guling. There's a lot of places to try it here in Ubud, but Ibuoka is the most famous. So I'm gonna head now to one of the many, many temples here in Ubud, digest a little bit, check out the sights. So I've come to a temple that's popularly known as the Water Palace. It's extremely beautiful. It's got this long walkway that goes through these lotus and lily pad pond. And then on the very end of the path, you get to this beautiful Balinese Hindu temple with these intricate designs. It was empty as soon as I got here, and now it's packed with uh, selfie-taking tourists, but I don't blame them because it's absolutely beautiful. If you could get here when no one's here and stand on that path and take a picture, it's uh, really beautiful because of the symmetry with these two trees and this temple in the middle with the pink uh, lotus flowers and the lily pads. Really, really picturesque. But most of the time you're gonna have to deal with all of the tourists. <laughs> This pathway that I'm on right now is the one I'm talking about with the lotus ponds on each side and then the temple in the back here. Wow, peaceful despite lots of tourists. And this is Bali right after the pandemic. Right after the pandemic? I guess the pandemic still going on. Is it?
Personally, Ubud is my favorite place here in Bali and one of the reasons why is because the accommodation is so nice and so cheap. I got this uh, private pool villa here, one bedroom private pool villa for under 60 US dollars per night. Really cheap deal. And one of the dishes that you have to try here in Bali is bebek batutu, a smoked duck. So it takes 24 hours to cook. Yesterday I went and put in my order and saw how they cooked it. So let me uh, rewind and show you how they prepare the bebek batutu. So I'm seeing how they make the babek batutu, one of Bali's most famous uh, dishes. It's a smoked duck with Balinese sauce. This is the spot where all the restaurants here in Ubud are uh, buying their duck from. So they're making it here, it's like the factory. So he started with a little bit of tamarind and added in some salt, some soy sauce and coconut oil. And then he's just marinated that uh, duck, the uh, babek in that. You can also get ayam, so chicken but this is the uh, most famous. So you can see he's, he's like marinating it in that coconut oil with all that soy sauce and tamarind. And there's gonna be more sauce and then we're gonna smoke it. The leftover marinade is then mixed with a mixture of a ton of different ingredients. There's turmeric, ginger, onions, chili, and that's the batutu sauce. And they're also sitting in these leaves, so they're gonna be wrapped up once they've been fully covered in the sauce before they get smoked and smoked within that leaf. I can smell that batutu sauce, it smells incredible. Got two ducks on order here and one chicken. One of these ducks is mine. And he just took that batutu mix and really stuffed it full, like a ton on the inside mostly, but then also just a slight coating on the outside. And they're just overflowing with that sauce. So once the duck or chicken has been completely marinated, wrapped up in the leaf and tightened to seal in all that flavor, it's placed underneath of a upside down pot and then covered in a mountain of wood chips which is about to be set on fire and then smoked and cooked away for 24 hours. So it takes a whole day to cook one of these. That's why I ordered it today to eat tomorrow. <laughs> On top of the wood chips, he put a little bit of the ashes from previous cooking sessions, and then he put some coconut husk on top of that, a little bit of fuel, and then he lit that up, and there's a big flame going. So this is the traditional way to cook babek batutu here in Bali. Now, just have to wait 24 hours to taste it. <laughs> All right, so it's 24 hours later. I'm back at the Babek Batutu place. As you just saw, they prepare it, slowly smoking it under all those wood chips. And I'm gonna go pick up my duck and then take it to one of the restaurants just across the street and try out the world famous Balinese Babek Batutu. Let's go. All right, it's still in here? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, got my duck. That is 140,000 rupiah for a duck. And uh, this is not a restaurant. This is just the place that cooks the duck. And then they actually supply all the restaurants that sell Babek Batutu here in Ubud. So I found a restaurant that's just across the street that's gonna uh, give me some rice and some veggies and stuff to eat with it. So let's go. So I'm sitting down now with the Bebek Batutu and my mouth is watering. This just looks so good. I'm at a little place called Narada House. It's a guest house and restaurant and um, I've got it here. This is just absolutely beautiful. Look at the color of that. That used to be a white duck and now it's completely changed to this kind of dark green brownish color. And when she opened that up, she opened that little leaf packet, all of the juices poured out. It really retained all the juices through that smoking process. You can still see some of them right here. Look at that. 
really oily, beautiful looking duck. And then she's also prepared a little salad for me here with coconut, some greens, some chili in there as well. And then it's meant to be eaten with rice. But I gotta dig in straight away for this duck and just try some as is. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful meat. Oh man, it's so tender. It's just completely falling off the bone. Look at that. Okay, I'm just gonna try the duck as is. Wow. That is like nothing else I've ever had. Very unique taste. I think it's coming from that coconut oil that he marinated it in. There's lots of flavor going on in there, but the smoke, the smoke has just so infused into that meat. The skin is like a little bit oily and greasy, but the meat is nice and lean, but really juicy at the same time. And wow, the flavor of that totally caught me off guard. That is crazy. Let me go for one of these lags. Look at this, the bone's just gonna come right out of it, like nothing. Look at how tender that is. <laughs> no fork or the spoon needed. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful duck. Mm. It's perfectly salted. Mm. A little bit sweet too. It's got that coconut aroma. Yum. Mm. I'm gonna try some of the salad with the meat too. I think this is called urub salad. So it's like a greens salad with some sambals and some coconut. Put that on my rice and get a little bit more duck meat, of course, to go along with that especially right around the lag. There is a lot of delicious succulent meat. Oh yeah, look at all that. I've got a whole duck here. So I'm definitely gonna be taking some home for tomorrow as well. Oh man, the skin, you gotta get the skin. And then eat that together with some of the salad, some rice. Let's try. That's a big bite. <laughs> Wow. That is one of the most unique spice blends I've ever tasted. And the tenderness of the duck is just to die for. Wow. Goes really well with that salad too. A little bit spicy, a little bit fresh coconut flavor once again. Yum. What a meal. That is so good. Babek Batutu. Beautiful, beautiful duck. All right, guys, that's it for today's episode. That was some of the most popular foods to try here in Bali, the Babi Guling at Ibuoka, amazingly crispy, delicious skin, and the 24-hour smoked duck, Babek Batutu, and also that uh, Buber Bali, really delicious. This is one of the most beautiful destinations in the world. And if you come to Ubud, definitely check out some of the foods that I tried today. The information will be down in the description box. Stay tuned for more Indonesia videos. I can't wait to bring them to you. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon so you're notified. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of Chopstick Travel. Bye.